Hey Leo, it's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How's it going? Yeah, let's take a little peek at your weekend forecast, May 5th, 6th, and 7th. And let's see, wow, about 20 of them fell out, so let's not use those. I'm using the traditional tarot for you for whatever reason I felt inspired to do that. And the first card for you that wants to come out is, ooh, Leo, the Eight of Cups. Looks like you're ready to walk away from something. Something has not been really fulfilling. It's not been what you thought it would be. So you or someone else is ready to walk away. Let's see what else wants to come out. What do you, you want to show, Leo? Leo, 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 this weekend. Okay, it feels like this one's next. Ooh, the lover's card, Leo. Okay, so, yeah, it feels like there is a relationship that's not been, it's just not been what you'd hoped it was. It doesn't have to be a lover, per se. It could just be a relationship in general. There's a train, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so this weekend, take a peek at your relationships and see if they're really what you're hoping they would be. And and maybe have some communication with this these people, whether it's one oh, okay, wow, okay, Leo, look, it is it is a significant other. So it's time to reassess what's going on. I mean, what is going on? How are you feeling? It looks like there's a tendency for someone. Whoa, Leo, this one jumped out too, the Four of Cups. So someone is not feeling valued. Someone is very upset. They're, they're not seeing a gift. They're not, they're upset about something else. They're, they're very upset. They're disgruntled from something. They're not even seeing the gift that's being presented. So whether it's you or someone else, some, you or someone else is ready to walk away because they're not seeing the gift of what is in front of them. And so if it's you, if it's not, if you're not seeing the gift of something in front of you, um, I encourage you and I invite you to take a step back and really take a look of what's going on. Who is in your reality? But if it's not you, if it's someone else, I mean, before you walk away, Leo, before you walk away, just take a second and reassess because you're not seeing something that's right in front of you. And it looks like this is a very important relationship. I mean, this is like a soulmate. This is a soulmate relationship. So I don't know. Are you sure you want to walk away? And if, if it's not you, if it's the other person, I don't know. Someone is not, someone's not seeing the gift. They're very upset about something maybe that happened in the past. Okay, so let's see what these cards, the Magical Times, want to shed some light into the situation. Leo, but this weekend, I don't know, I'm, I suggest that you just ask your angels for wisdom and guidance. Ask for clarity. Ask for new vision. What do you guys want to show Leo this weekend? But if it's your partner that wants to walk away, you know, we can't force people to stay. We can't force and we can't. We can't shed light. All we can do is like, all we can do is just be us, right? And and be with that, be whoever that is. Be our highest selves. Be be joyful in all things. Okay, and Leo, happiness. Okay, this this card popped out twice for you. I mean, Leo. Happiness, immense delight can be found in the smallest of things. Cultivate fluttering moments of joy. So that goes along with this card and this. Before you walk away, before you just have this attitude of not being thankful, you can't even see what's right in front of you. It starts within. Because we can get spiraled down into this state of despair. So Leo... Just like this card said, practice gratitude and happiness with the little tiny things. Like, like you see a bird, how be gratitude, be grateful for the bird coming to say hi. Look at the flowers and see how beautiful they are. 
just the tiniest, tiniest of things can really make a difference in your life. So just allow those things to cultivate a, a heart of gratitude and joy in you and happiness. And that alone can shift your relationship with all the people around you, you know. Ask, how can you be grateful for those around you if you're stuck in a in a relationship you've kind of lost your joy in ask what can i what can i be thankful for today with my partner or my friend or whatever whoever's driving you crazy ask how can i be in gratitude for this person instead of grumpiness and start with the small things and then watch it just exponentially grow and grow and grow all right, my friend, I hope you have a beautiful weekend, and uh, just be at peace. I'll see you later. Bye.